In this problem, we have an algebraic expression, and then we have a bunch of things that might be equal to that, and we have to determine which ones are equal to that. So how are we going to do this? Well, in this first one, we have 6x plus 48. And you know when we write 6 and an x right next to it, it means 6 times x. That's multiplication there. So when I see this, 6 times x, I know that those two things are the same. And then here we have 6 times 8. Well, 6 times 8 is 48. So we have 6x plus 48 here. So this one's definitely the same. This next one, we have parentheses. So we could distribute this 6, that is multiply it by each of these two terms. If I did that, 6 times x would be 6x, and 6 times 8 would be 48. And that is exactly what we have to start with. So that one is equivalent. On this one, I could distribute the 6, and the first thing I get is 6 times 8x. Well, that would be 48x and 6 times 1 would be plus 6. That is definitely not the same thing. 48x is very different from 6x. And this one, 54x, that is not equivalent either. You can't add the 6x and the 48 and get 54x. They're not like terms. So these first two are equivalent. The second two aren't. Now, in part b here, we have to do some combining of like terms to start with. We have two sets of like terms. We have 11y and negative y. And when you see a negative y or a negative x or a negative whatever variable without a number, in your head you should think 1. This is 1y. So if I have 11y minus 1y, that would be 10y to combine those. So I've combined these two terms. And then I have 16 minus 7. Well, 16 minus 7 is a positive 9, so this would be 10y plus 9. So that's what we're dealing with here. Let's see if any of these are like that. Um, well, this one says 9y plus 10. That is not equivalent. 10y is different from 9y. Here we have 10 plus 9y. Again, uh, that doesn't work. Uh, we've got 10y's here and only 9y's here. Here we have 9y plus 10y. Well, that doesn't make sense. That would be 19y, and we only have 10y here. And finally, here we have 10y plus 9. That's what we came out with in the first place. So this one is the only equivalent expression. So that's how to figure out which algebraic expressions are equivalent to each other.